Welcome everybody to my re review of in my opinion the greatest animated motion picture ever made. Transformers the movie. I'm reviewing both Rhino and Sony versions of Transformers the movie. I'm going to start off with the Rhino version. I bought this back in 2002. This is a special collector's edition. This final I'm saying is the original poster for the when the Transformers the movie comes out came out. This Transformers the logo, a great picture of the Autobots and Decepticons, and this one has both DVDs have a lot of artwork. The features on here are completely remastered, uncut version, 5.1 sound, exclusive interview with the composer Vince DeCola, storyboards, and animated chapter breaks. More than meets the eye. The year is 2005. The auto, the, the set the kinds of retaken Cybertron from Optimus Prime and his Autobot Warriors. Both sides are uh, seemingly with anger, and the, that and that hatred has blinded them in a horrific as into a hideous menace heading their way. That menace is Unicron, a planet, a monster so powerful that he devours planets. Unicron has chosen to take control of the Autobot Matrix for its evil, own evil purposes, purposes. And to accomplish this, he has created a new a force of super robots by gathering the remains of the fallen Decepticons, including Megatron, fusing them with life, and, uh, and perform, he forms the Unicrons with Decepticons on one side. Unicrons on the other. Optimus Prime is lost in battle. Earth and Autobot's survival depend on the chosen one who must rise up to open the Matrix and use his full power. Who that is remains a mystery. The all star cast of Boyce Ashton includes Judd Nelson, Robert Staggs, Orson Welles, and Star Trek's Leonard Nimoy. Let me show you this. I think it's really sweet. Let me kick axe. Transforms the movie with Optimus Prime as he was about to destroy Megatron. In my opinion, this is the cooler disc because it has a picture of Optimus Prime. So the chapters are a special run, more to meets the eye, um, Moon Base 2, Blast the City, We're Outnumbered, Me Must Stop Megatron, You Got the Power, Passion the Matrix, Megatron Transformed, A Hungry Planet, a sw Swear Word, which was when Spike said, Oh, shoot. If you put the letter S in front of him, you know what I'm talking about. Down for Repairs, Universal Green, Planet of Jump, Release the Power, Rally the Troops, they everywhere, battle Unicron, satisfaction guaranteed, light the matrix. That's Rhino's copy. Overall, they restored the movie beautifully. It was like, it, it was phenomenal how they restored this movie from 1986. I'll give you a little fact, that was the year that I was born. 1986. Anyway... This movie is, in my opinion, the greatest animated feature ever. It had a great original story, wonderful animation that even like the best computer in the world can duplicate at the time. And a great set of voice cast and music. It was beautiful. Anyway, back to the movie features. Um, the bonus features I was not impressed with. However, the however the menus were great looking. And in my opinion, were cool. You had all, the chapters actually were moving, moving. Like if you're on page one, you can see the actual clips of the movie as you were looking at the clips. I mean, looking for the movie. The only good feature on here was the interview with Vince DeCole, he, who shared a lot of great stories. He even talking about how he got involved with Transformers the movie was how he when he was done with Rocky Four. 
the producers of this film came up to him and said, We like the score you did, and one of you like to do it for our movie. And he wrote an audition place called Legacy. Anybody knows where I can find that track, I'd like to listen to it. Please comment on this picture, on my video. Because it was a mix of, he said it was a mix of the good guys scene, the bad guys scene, the chase scene, the victory scene. All that good stuff. And it actually didn't get to be in the film, but it got him the job. I'll give you all the final score of Rhino's version of Transformers the movie in a second. Anyway, now we're on to the 20th anniversary. Transformers the movie, which was released by Sony. I like this cover a lot. You have Optimus Prime, Megatron, St Skywarp, Grimlock, Bumblebee, Blaster, Starscream, Jazz. This is a two this special edition. On a, and here's the difference. There's some Galvatron and you know, it's like Clonus, Soundwave, Ultra Magnus open trying to open up the Matrix, the Quintessons and Hot Rod. This one wins for the most bonus features. It says on the back, a war of has been raging on the planet Cybertron for millennia. The Autobots led by the heroic Optimus Prime prepared to make a daring attempt to retake their home planet from the evil forces of Megatron and the Decepticons. Unknown to both sides, a menacing force is hanging their way. Unicorn, a planet that devours everything in its path. The only way to stop it Unicorn lies within the matrix of leadership, and the Autobot who can rise uh, up to use his power to light their darkest hour. Will the Autobots be able to save their whole world from destruction, or will the Decepticons reign supreme? This includes, um, they mentioned Peter Collin, Frank Walker, Judd Nelson, Robert Stacks, Orson Welles, Casey Graham, and Leonard Nimoy again. This one's bonus features are oh, the widescreen version, Autobots Matrix of Knowledge, gives you trivia throughout the whole film, commentary with j j with the director, and story cadet, and the voice of RC, Susan Blue. Fan commentary, which is a grain that shares a lot of interesting stories, original theatrical trailer and TV spots, text credits, photo gallery, the Scramble City episode with with commentary by fans, remastering side by side comparison, a sneak a live action movie trailer, and a special sneak peek of Transformers 2007. Easter eggs on both discs. This this too is a full screen version. A trivia game which is for when you put it in the PC. All new Feast of Reds, Death of Optimus Prime, cast and character, and Transformers Q Q and A. With uh, the director, Tom Grissom, Tom Grid. Um, hold on, let me think. T Tom Grissom, Griffith, and uh, one of the producers, R.C. Susan Blue, and and Flint, and so forth. Promotional trailer with commentary, d d text. Deleted and alternate footage with commentary, anime storyboards, U.S. and Japanese um, sto toy commercials, Scram City commercials, and DVD ROM features. The booklet has the co special comic book, and there's the bonus features again on the inside. Um, I got this from Walmart, which came with a iron-on feature. There's more of the comic book. Very nice comic book indeed. There's the this one. It was a picture of Unicorn. This too is the um, Matrix. There's some artwork for the movie Transformers that were featured in the film. Overall, I'd say get them both. Get both versions of the movie because they're collect oh, or kick ass. This is the kick ass movie. Overall, I'm giving both versions a ten out of ten. This one wins for best picture, and this one wins for best um, bonus features. Take care.